Yeah, so um, just so you know, there's that blue box that keeps showing up over there on the right left side of your screen. Um, I can't take it off, so it's just there. It, it's not meant for anything, so if you see it, you're like confused. Oh my gosh, what's all up there? I don't know. I can't get it off. It's weird. All right, but what's the biggest part here is explicit formula. One of the biggest things, or two of the biggest things when it comes to arithmetic sequence and series is knowing the difference between recursive and explicit. Because they're going to ask about recursive, they're going to ask about explicit, and you have to kind of know the difference, know the difference between the two. So recursive was the whole thing with A1 equals N minus 1 times D. Explicit formula just takes that, as you can see the definition, explicit formula takes the recursive formula and breaks it down. Okay, so that might make perfect sense or not. That's your definition of the words also there. It takes the recursive formula there. So it's going to take that. So the recursive formula is going to be your keyword on that. So here's example three. And we're going to give them the first term in common difference. We're going to find the explicit formula. So A1 is going to equal negative 38, and B is going to equal negative, 10, negative 100. And what we're going to do again is we're going to take these, the um, recursive formula and we're going to break it down to make our explicit formula. And it's going to be very simple and easy to do. It's not going to be a hard, long, drawn out process. It's very quick and easy. So our explicit formula, or re sorry, a recursive formula is an equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. It's recursive. So when we get finished with this, it's going to be our explicit formula. So we don't know what a n is, so we keep that there as a n. a1, we said that was that part there. That's negative 38. And again, since we don't know what a n is, we don't even really know what n is because we don't know, we're not really given a specific term that we're trying to find. And then our common difference is negative 100. Okay, so we substitute it in. Not bad, not hard. We can do that quick and easy, fast. But again, we said that the recursive formula, or the explicit formula, breaks down the recursive formula. So we're not going to stop here. We're going to go ahead and distribute here. And we're going to simplify this down as far as we can. thing is just combine like terms and we're done. That's our that's gonna be our explicit formula. So we combine those two, we should get an answer of 68. This is our 62. So our final recursive uh, explicit formula this is our explicit formula. Whenever it comes to your explicit formula, it's always going to look like this form. It's always going to have like something n or something x plus 62 or plus a number or minus a number. It's always going to be in this form right here, something like that. That's all explicit formula is, getting it to look like that. It shouldn't be hard. 